Good day. In this video, I'm going to explore the differences between an explicit and implicit implementation of an interface. So we have an interface here with two methods, stop responding and freeze computer. It's called iCrashable. It's very simple. And we're going to implement this interface on program here. So we're going to first do a normal or implicit um, implementation. Now we're going to simplify it right quick so we can look at the textual differences between the two or the syntactical differences. And I'm going to comment this out so I can generate the other code, the explicit implementation. And again, I'm going to simplify it. Okay, so the difference is, is that the explicit implementation will be prefixed by the interface. So you can see the interface name, period, and then the method name. Also, explicit uh, implementations cannot have access modifiers. You'll get a compile time error if you try to provide one. You can use these interchangeably as well. You can have them both present, or you can have half, you know, explicit implementations, half implicit implementations if you wish. And now we'll explore the differences, the main differences between the two. So I have a drivable type and remember, well, that's, that's not right. I guess that was for the last example I was doing. So I'll change this to program. So this is now a crashable program. It implements iCrashable and we will try to access its members that we implemented. So we have stop responding and we do not have the other member that was implemented, freeze computer, because it is explicitly implemented. And when a member is explicitly implemented uh, from an interface, you can only access that member through an interface instance. So if program here was a, or is a iCrashable instance, then we should be able to access everything that we implemented. So we have both freeze computer and stop responding now. So if you want these both, both of these methods to be accessible through uh, both the interface instance and the instances that, or the types that implement the inter instances, sorry, uh, then you would have to do this and just make them both implicit.